Today, I want to tell you about a guy. You may know him for his comedy. You may know him for his mustache. But today, I want you to know him for his religion. Hey, I'm Steve Harvey, stand-up comedian, entertainer, television host, family man. But most importantly, I happen to be a man of faith. Steve is a very successful guy. He has made more money than he ever thought. He has become more famous than he ever thought. But at the same time, he managed to keep his relationship with God closer than ever. Why did you not lose faith as you became more successful? If I could make myself successful, I would have done it a long time ago. <laughs> I would have skipped so many of the lessons I had to learn. But it's not that, it's a process. Success and happiness is a process, man. And in this process, I was very aware of the amount of faith that was needed. And as a matter of fact, it really took more faith than I even thought I had. See. Oftentimes, people who are religious think their religion is right and everybody else is wrong. There is only one way to God. But Steve's faith is unique because it's really not about that. There's no one, one way to heaven, no one way to paradise. It's like television. Now it's over 800 channels of cable and they're all pretty entertaining. So I'm pretty sure, man, that to get to heaven, there's got to be more than one route. And cause somebody watching another channel or taking another channel than you, they still getting entertained and they probably still getting to heaven. This isn't just talk. Steve lives by these words. He has three sons. Two of them, he gave them Christian names like Broderick, and one of them he gave a Muslim name, Ali, as a sign of respect and appreciation for the Muslim religion and the Muslim culture. I named him Ali because I knew, I knew then. That he I might knew, be different. I knew. And you have no problems with it? No. Because when you come here you understand Islam is a religion of peace. Why you got a problem with peace? It's just a name, but it's a big step to showing respect to people of other cultures. What Steve did reminds me a lot of this mosque. This mosque in Abu Dhabi belongs to people in the Islamic faith. But as a sign of tolerance to the churches next to them, they renamed the mosque to Mary, Mother of Jesus Mosque. Can you imagine? A mosque with the name Jesus on it. Yeah, the world could use a little bit more of that. It's just a name, but it's a big step to showing respect. You know, when I named my youngest son and I gave him the name Ali, I never really understood exactly what I was doing. I had a feeling about it. But now when I look at this name right here, and it says, Mary, the mother of Jesus, mosque. Uh, it kind of gives me a little bit more of the understanding. Maybe it was something I didn't quite know at the time, but now it's starting to make a whole lot more sense. And it's not just about Christians and Muslims. It's about Christians, Muslims, Jews, and everybody else. At a time when religious intolerance is on the rise, we need many, many more of these mosques, many, many more of people like Steve. After hanging out with Steve for a week and visiting mosques, churches, and museums in the Emirates, I am convinced religious harmony, religious respect, religious Tolerance is the most important thing, and we need to promote that every single day.